Just pretend to go pose with it. Uh, Just go do it. Go uh, sit in it, please. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go sit in it. Do you want a fit pick or not? No, I don't. You can, you can sit there if you'd like. Do you think you'll get tattoos ever? Probably not. Is it because you can't do it? You can't, you can't suffer in silence? Yeah. You said you got this on Pinterest? Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today we are going to be talking about pants. But not just any pants, baggy pants, very baggy pants, and jeans, and other bits of pants. Anyways, before we get into that, if you're new here, hi, welcome, and subscribe. And if you are turning, thanks, appreciate it. Um, enjoy the video. How baggy is too baggy for a pair of baggy jeans? That is the question that we're gonna be answering today, as well as we're gonna be talking about the different types of baggy jeans, the do's and don'ts of buying into a pair, some of my personal pairs of baggy denim slash pants, brands that I like, and we'll even explore some other silhouettes that you should check out, try out, whatever. But first and foremost, how did we even get here? Obviously, I've been on TikTok for like three years. I've seen the pants go from sort of a straighter leg to a little bit baggier to a little bit baggier. And now all of a sudden, we're at like ginormous status. And at the same time, I keep seeing TikTok brands, Instagram brands, whatever, all sort of making the same baggy jean. Pretty much what I'm getting at is that the baggy jean is the new crop hoodie for a streetwear brand to make. But my question is, when is this trend gonna end? Are we gonna see a skinny jeans revival anytime soon? And in my opinion, I'm thinking that that might just happen. The thing is, is that I'm not really sure we can get any baggier than what we're currently at. So the only way that we can really go is the opposite end, which is slimmer. Obviously this isn't gonna be overnight. It's not gonna be in the next week, the next month, but like over the course of the next year or two, I wouldn't be surprised if people were either wearing more of a slimmer silhouette or maybe even going all in and wearing some super skinny jeans. All right, let's get into my personal pairs of baggy pants slash jeans. This probably is not all of them, but it's what I'm gonna show you today, so enjoy. First and foremost, we have the pair that I'm currently wearing. If you were watching closely in the beginning of this episode, you would have seen me wearing these in the fitting room. It's a pair of women's Our Legacy jeans. I really sort of like the effect on the front of them, and then because they're women's, I feel like it kind of hugs my hugs my cheeks in a nice little manner. Next up, we have this pair of HBT pants from the brand Bare Knuckles. These obviously are just inspired by sort of the vintage military pants, but in a slightly wider cut. They don't really have like a ton of shape to them. It's mostly just baggy pants, but I don't think they're overdoing it either. I haven't worn these too, too much because they are also really long, but uh, I'll probably get them hemmed soon and then you'll probably see me wear these more. Moving on to a pair of vintage trousers. These right here are great. They were also only $24. Very voluminous trouser. They're brown, they're striped. They look great. They got the nice pleat going on. They fit kind of long, but they look really great over like boots, the tabbies I have. Because they're so high rise, I can kind of pick and choose how high up on the waist I want to wear them. I think they're great for fall. I haven't really worn them in a little while. Once it gets cool again, I will definitely be wearing these. All right, so obviously when it comes to a wider fitting pant, I like to look for something that has a little bit of shape, a little bit of structure. I feel like this pair of pants from Studio Nicholson really kind of embodies that. They're a little more structured because they are denim. They do have the pleat going on and then they're also very high-waisted. You can kind of choose how high up on the waist you wanna wear them. If you wanna wear them more cropped, or just like hovering over the shoe a little bit. Either way, these things are super nice and the material is definitely very rigid, robust, the adjective that Fashion MFs like to use now. These are great. All right, and lastly, we have two pairs of cargo pants from the same brand, and that is Story MFG. We'll start with the older pair, and it is this pair of black 
cargo pants. These are clearly very voluminous. You can kind of tell that I've beaten them up. I've washed and dried them a bunch, which you're probably not supposed to do, but I do it anyways. They're naturally dyed, so by washing and drying them and even just wearing them, they're gonna fade a little bit over time, but that's kind of the beauty in it. They're just super easy to wear with the waistband going on and they kind of just go with everything. So great pair of pants. Yes, they're kind of expensive, but you can get them second hand, which leads me to the last pair, which is the same pair of pants, but in this lovely, yellow color mustard whatever you want to call it these are going to be great for fall i feel like it's the perfect sort of fall color are they going to be harder to style than the black pair yeah but um hopefully we can figure it out because i like these i like these a lot that's all of my baggy pants that i want to show you guys today so now we've reached the point of the video where i give you guys other brand recommendations and the funny thing is is that i did absolutely nothing to prepare this list so it's coming straight off the top of my head and it's probably gonna be pretty weak. We'll start with Story MFG because I already showed them in my personal collection and I just think that they're really great. I also do want to include our legacy. I feel like they're a little bit more classic in terms of the fit, but still going to be a little bit more baggy. I am going to include Studio Nicholson because I feel like they do a really great job of bringing more of a contemporary vibe to it all. And it's going to look a little bit more dressed up. Now we're going to go crazy and bring in 18 East. I feel like 18 East is a great alternative to Story MFG if you don't want to spend nearly as much money. And it's going to be a little bit more of a streetwear vibe. It would also be ridiculous if I didn't talk about going thrifting or going to some sort of vintage shops and looking there. You'll You'll really be surprised what you find and obviously the whole baggy trend is very 90s early 2000s so if you want to get the real authentic stuff then i guess that's what you got to do if you do have a higher budget or you're going to shop secondhand i also recommend engineer garments not all of their stuff is that baggy but they do just make really great pants capital obviously we've seen capital and they make good pants they make baggy pants same goes for needles we all know about the needles hd pants but honestly they're just way better than all the random streetwear brands that decided they want to make over pants most of those are dinky there is another store slash brand that I'm trying to think of that's not coming to me that I'm probably just gonna flash up on the screen right now and then because I'm running kind of dry I'm probably just gonna put a bunch of names on the screen right now and then you guys are gonna just have to pause or whatever yeah I should really prepare more for these videos script them out um, something but uh, I don't so Nice. To get a little more generalized though, let's talk about the do's and don'ts when it comes to buying baggy pants. Don't buy the ones with the super artificial fake fades. You can if you want, but in my opinion, it just does not look very good. It looks super artificial. I really doubt that it's going to wear well over time. If you find that pair that you really, really love and you wear them for a long time, you'll put the work in yourself and it's going to look way better. Or alternatively, if you're looking for something super faded, just buy vintage. Do look for pleats and darts. I feel like pleats offer a lot of structure to a pair of pants. It also tends to bring a little bit more of a dress look not saying that you want that every single time but it's good to have some diversity and then when it comes to the darting I feel like darting brings a little bit of shape to the pants kind of makes it work with your legs and will also make them look better with movement meaning that when you walk around it kind of moves with you as opposed to just getting all crinkly I don't know if that makes sense don't don't buy a pair of jeans that are 10 waist sizes too big I know people do it but I don't think it looks good and it's definitely not comfortable just find a pair of pants that fits your waist size or alternatively if you find one that's just a little bit too too big you can either belt them or you can get them altered just don't go overkill and I don't know how many times I can say it but do shop secondhand there is an absolute abundance of baggy pants and there's really no reason why you can't go to a thrift store a vintage shop whatever it may be and find at least one pair that works for you and to round out this episode we're gonna talk about some alternatives to baggy pants obviously we know skinny jeans are an alternative and will very likely become popular again at some point you can't go wrong with a classic straight leg not too baggy not too slim kind of live in the middle. You don't have to put yourself in that bubble. Do what you want. But if you don't want to deal with all the trend cycle bullshit, straight leg might be for you. And don't be afraid of a slightly slimmer leg as well. There are going to be circumstances with outfits where I feel like a slim or skinny leg will look good. And then we'll talk about one of my personal favorites, flares. Obviously we know about flares. I've made videos about flares. I've been wearing flares for quite some time. Great for the short kings, get something nice and high rise. And it just brings some interest to your outfit. I think it looks great with boots. I've also started to see like straighter legs slash baggier flares where it's a little bit less tapered up top. And those are cool too. And the good news is no matter what silhouette of pants you want to wear they're all in abundance and you can find them for good deals secondhand that's pretty much it that's the entire video sorry i don't have a script and i'm just going off the top but hope you enjoyed and uh leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you guys very soon bye